What's good, y'all? So today, I have a Dame Dollar build. 6'1 guard, 99 three-pointer with contact dunks. This for sure is the best point guard build I've used on current gen, because you can pass, finish, and shoot from anywhere on the court. And to be 6'1", the defense is not bad at all. Like, you still get challenger, you still get clumps, you still get ankle braces on silver, and you can get glove and all that. So the defense is not liability at all. So you want to go with a 70 close shot, 72 driving layup, and 85 driving dunk so you can get silver posterizer. Now with the shooter, all you want to do is touch the three-pointer and take it all the way to the 99. It's going to take your mid-range up with it and your free throw. Um, for the playmaking, you want to go with a 75 pass accuracy, and you want to go with a 92 ball handle. So next, all you want to do, take your perimeter defense to a 70 and take your steal up to a 70. All right, so next, now you want to take your speed to a 77 and your acceleration to an 89. Your vertical to a 70 and your stamina to a 90. If you want to make this build on next gen, the only small adjustment you'll have to make is by taking your speed to a 75 and your acceleration to an 87. And you'll put those attribute points towards your vertical to at least get to a 75. And that 75 vertical will help you get the contact dunks that you need. Okay, for the takeover options, if you play more of a scoring role, then I would go with the shot creating as my secondary option. But if you play more of a playmaking role and primary point guard role, then I would go with the playmaking option. Okay, on the bright side, when you get the builds, Damian Lillard, his name actually pops up, so that's good. And I feel like this is the most accurate you can ever get to him because like, there's literally no clear way to guard this man one-on-one. -on -one. So for the badges, Posterizer Silver, Slithery Finisher Silver, Limitless Takeoff Silver, Fearless on Bronze, um, Acrobat on Bronze, definitely Giant Slayer on Gold, and Early Wizard on Bronze. For the shooting, the main three badges you gotta get out the way first, Agent 3 Hall of Fame, Limitless Range Hall of Fame, and Blinders Hall of Fame. Those three badges right there is key. Um, you definitely need space creator on at least gold. And most definitely guard up and imp need to go on silver. And the last badge point I'll probably put on is dead eye on bronze. But when you get some more extra badges, make sure you put all of them towards the shooting or your playmaking, but most of them towards the shooting. Because there's so much more you can do with this build with more shooting. So this is another reason why I say you need to put more badges on your shooting and your playmaking. Cause I can only get quick for a step on Hall of Fame Bronze unpluggable, hyper drive on, on silver, special delivery, you need that to throw lobs to your teammates to bail you out and stuff. And mismatch expert silver, handles for days silver, clump break on silver, like all of this stuff, like you can work with this, but you would definitely want like more value for a lot of these badges. All right, as far as the defense, off rip, challenger on bronze will bail you out, clumps on bronze, menace on silver, interceptor on bronze, Workhorse on bronze and glove on bronze. And if you get any extra badges, most definitely try to get ankle braces on silver. An uh, ankle brace on silver is a very good badge too. That's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here.